Drinking a cup of takeaway coffee once a week could expose you to some 90,000 potentially harmful plastic particles each year, new research shows. Thousands of microplastic particles were found to be present in drinks served in the three main types of takeaway cups. A single cup released nearly 1,500 particles after five minutes exposure. With microplastics breaking off from the plastic wall of the cup. But the longer a cup was left, the greater the number of particles were released. Microplastics can get in our bodies via our drinks, our food or the air we breathe. Conventional water treatment processes cannot completely remove microplastics from water. Microplastics released from personal care and cosmetic products can also contact human skin, with microplastics smaller than 100 nanometers likely to penetrate our skin. Daily drinking of tea brewed in plastic tea bags, bottled water, beer and white wine can all release large amounts of microplastics. A single plastic tea bag at brewing temperature releases approximately 11.6 billion microplastics. Opening a plastic bottle can lead to 63,400 to 1,225,500 high-density polyethylene HDPE, particles releasing from the inner cap surface. An electric plastic kettle releases 4-29 million microplastics per liter during use. Infant feeding bottles could release 1-16 million microplastics per liter in formula preparation, an average of 1.5 million microplastics ingestion per infant per day. With the outbreak and spread of the COVID-19 pandemic worldwide, Wearing disposable masks has also emerged as a potential route for humans to intake microplastics. Microplastics have been found in even placentas, fetal livers, lungs, hearts, kidneys, and brains. Hot liquids and shaking of the cup, as could happen during transport, also resulted in more of the microplastic breaking off the cup walls and entering the liquid. The impact on human health from microplastics is unknown. A microplastic particle is any piece of plastic smaller than 5 mm, but many are much smaller and only visible under a microscope. Most of the pieces of microplastic in the study were smaller than 50 micrometers, around the diameter of a human hair.